What is up guys welcome to my another react tutorial in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how we can build forms in react using forming 2 I'll be using jep for the validation and for the design I'll be using bootstrap before we go into the video if you're new to my youtube channel please subscribe it really motivates me to do more and more useful tutorials okay let's get started as you can see I have created a react app now we are going to create new component create a file component it's a folder let's say register now let's create a functional component just name it so for now i'm going to return div and now we need to install formic and jap so open up your terminal npm i formic and also jap okay now we need to import our formic component so formic so we need to import that so import formic from formic inside formic we need to create an arrow function so and return form so this form is from formic again you need to import that first of all let's create our uh, the name field so field again it's from formic So the field name is name then we need to give type so type is input and we can give placeholder let's say name now go to app.js and clean up this and let's call our register command here so register you can see it's automatically imported now let's start our react app so npm start okay now let's create our other fields so go back to vs code then email so field name is email uh, type is input and let's give a placeholder email so now we need the field for country so field the name is country as select inside this we need options the first value is just an empty string so let's say select your country then our first country option value let's say Canada then Sri Lanka then India by the way uh, most of my views are from India so namaste wanakam and namaskar and now let's create a checkbox so let's say uh, is married so field so name is married the type is checkbox and we need a label for this so let's say label now let's create a field for gender so let's give a label then we are going to create radio buttons so we'll be having three radio buttons one is for male other is for female and third one is for other genders so field name is gender type is radio and the first value is male and we need a label for this so label male and let's do it for female let's copy this and change the value as well and again we need it for other genders yes copy and change it to others uh, that's fine now we need to create our submit button so here button type is submit okay now let's check our app okay for now it's fine now let's go back to vs code then you need to give initial value for the fields so inside formic initial values first field is uh, name okay name that's empty string now the second one is email the third one is is married so by default it should be false so false then gender then country now let's create our own submit function so inside formic 
on submit an arrow function that passes data and then just log it save it now go back to your browser open up your console so control shift i just give a name Warren so and email address is just call it Warren select your country is married i'm going to leave it blank and select the gender and submit it so you can see the form data here now i'm going to show it up underneath the submit button so so in the arrow function it's a values and i'm going to print the value underneath the button so inside pre tag so json the stringify then values it's null two. actually this uh, null and two will show the uh, data in a better way Go back to your browser. Yeah, you can see our data here. Let's type something. Yeah, it's working fine, right? Okay, now let's give some design using Bootstrap. So just say Bootstrap CDN. Open up the first link. Just copy this CSS link. Go back to your browser and inside the public folder, open up index.html. Paste the link inside head. Yeah, done. Now let's decorate the form. So now go to app.js and uh, change the class name to container. Actually, it's from Bootstrap. Now open up register. Just grab the first field with a div. So div, the class name should be form group. So move the field inside the div. So class name, form control. Then again a div, class name again form group and move the field inside and the field class name is form control then our country so div class name form group move the field inside form group and the class name should be form control for the checkbox in div class name it should be form check just move this inside the class name should be form check input then for the gender form check select it and copy this two more times we need to move this inside first div then the second one then the third one then the final one is button so inside div the class name is form group and move button inside and we need to give class name for button so class name btn uh, it should be blue so btn primary and i'm going to move it to right so float right and now let's check our design right so let's check it's still working yeah it's working fine now we are going to do the validation part so we have installed jap and we need to import it so import all as jap from jap now we need to create validation schema so let let's say validation schema jap dot object dot shape then we need to say our first field is name so there should be string and it's required so jap string and also it's required then email it should be string then it's an email so email so if it is not email we can give custom message the email address is invalid then again it's required uh, then is married so i don't want to give any validations uh, let's move to gender so gender it should be string and required at last country the same it should be string as well as required then we need to pass the validation schema as a prop to formic so here validation schema it gives error messages so we need to say errors then we can show our errors under the fields let's create a field for error message underneath the field small so it should be red right so class name text danger then errors so the field is a uh, name so errors dot name so it will return any errors from the name field save this now let's go to the gui let's leave it empty 
you can see the error message here so let's refresh it and don't touch the name and now come to email give the email address and it automatically shows the uh, error message i don't want to do like this so just go back to vs code and here you need to say touched if it is touch only uh, it should show the error message so touched come here if the name is touched touched dot name and also the name has error message and errors dot name you should return this component so move this code inside or else it should be null so just copy this and let's do it for email so paste it under field and rename it it should be email email and email now let's do it for country and we didn't do any validation for married field and let's do it for gender so paste it the so name is gender save it now go back to your browser let's check so first the name is empty i'm just clicking it and now let's go to email and it's showing the error message so now let's give some invalid email now move to country so it says the name the email address is invalid so it was the custom message we gave already right if you leave the country is not selected it show the error message now let's try to submit it it gives the error message that's it guys thank you for watching please like the video and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you guys see you in the next tutorial